and welcome back to the adventures of superman i am your host james Shu. this is episode six the tourist part five if you're not up to date believe it or not you can still go to the description box below see the original the sequel the trilogy the fourth and now we're in the fifth okay so showcase mall on the far left we have outback out of nowhere the big coca-cola bottle the world of coca-cola Built in 98, shut down in 2000, doesn't exist anymore. All right, so that huge M&M right there is called the M&M World. It was opened in 97. Whatever your favorite color of M&M is, I promise you it's probably over there on a wall called My Color. M&M World is actually kind of big. They have one in Vegas, obviously New York, Orlando, London, with Las Vegas being the first location. And also Showcase Movie Theater is also located over there also. All right, so here we are with MGM Grand, the thug that basically runs the place, Mr. Kurt Corian, kind of wealthy. Still wealthy, still a billionaire, but if you think the economy hit you hard back in 2008, Mr. Kirk Corian, according to Forbes magazine, was worth somewhere around $16 billion because of this downward spiral of the Las Vegas economy and the recession. They say he's worth somewhere around $3.1 billion. All right, so enough of that. Right now, MGM is uh, known as the second largest hotel in the world, second largest in uh, America, next to Venetian, as we learned earlier, by the way. That huge statue right there, his name is actually Leo the Lion, based off of Wizard of Oz. When the MGM first opened, it was actually very thematical toward Wizard of Oz. And Mr. Leo the Lion, he weighs somewhere around 50 tons, 45 feet tall, and is on a 25 foot pedestal, and it is the largest bronze statue that exists in the United States of America. And interestingly enough, Leo the Lion didn't always look like Leo the Lion. Leo the Lion actually just used to be a head, and people used to walk through the head, and a lot of the Chinese high rollers actually started complaining, so it was bad feng shui, and a lot of the Chinese high rollers refused to go through the entrance, and because of that, they actually changed the entire entrance of MGM to look like this. You know, if you really think about it, it's pretty powerful if you can get the casino to change the outside exterior of the entrance just because you don't like it. And if you don't know how big MGM actually is, they technically own Bellagio, City Center, Aria, Harmon, Beer Towers, The Crystal, Vidar, Mandarin Oriental, The Mirage, Luxor, Mandalay Bay, The Hotel at Mandalay Bay, MGM, The Signature, The Mansion, Monte Carlo, New York, New York, Excalibur, Circus Circus, Lots of Fun, even Bustle Rhymes to approve of that, don't you think? So Excalibur opened up the day before my birthday, June 19, 1990. They have over 4,000 rooms on 70 acres of Las Vegas Boulevard, and Excalibur is the seventh largest hotel worldwide. All right, so as we venture on into the Luxor, Las Vegas, with over 4,400 rooms, 442 of them being suites, the hotel is actually named after the city of Luxor in Egypt, something great a lot of the MGM properties are doing as of 2010, the Luxor has a four key rating from the Green Key Eco Rating Program, which evaluates sustainable hotel operations. All right, and everybody knows the Luxor has the beam of light on top. It is the brightest beam in the world with over 42 billion candle power. Pretty cool thing to know that the actual light is actually uh, designed by 39 Exxon lamps that use computer design curved mirrors. They all shine at the same time and then create one intense beam. In fact, this light is so powerful, engineers say that an astronaut could actually read a newspaper from the Luxor sky beam from 10 miles into space. For those that score on Tom Hanks and camping astronauts to see if this is true or not, the beam is so powerful you could be up to 250 miles away from the beam and still be able to see it. Oh, what you thought wasn't going to give it to you? Don't you worry about that, I got you! LAX, Luxor, nightclub. I didn't go to Ibiza, yet. I love this man. What better to do in a nightclub than play video games? He a thug. For all the Chris Angel fans, Holly Madison. What, she wants some David Guetta? What you know about David Guetta? Don't worry, baby boy, I got you. And so this beautiful golden resort that we're coming across right now is called The Hotel at Mandalay Bay. It's 43 stories tall, 1,117 luxury suite hotels. I've stayed there many times. One of the best hotels in Las Vegas, in my personal opinion. If you've seen Ocean's 13, you can see certain scenes from Ocean's 13 was filmed at The Hotel. And here we come across Mandalay Bay, 3,309 rooms. Five of the floors, uh, floors 35 through 39, are actually occupied by 
Four Seasons Hotel. If you're not familiar with Four Seasons, Michael Jackson stayed there all the time. It's a five-star and AAA, five-diamond award-winning hotel. And Mandalay Bay Convention Center is located right next to it. It has one of the largest privately owned and operated convention centers in the world. It's over a million square foot, and it's owned by MGM Mirage, as we talked about earlier. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for the tourist series. I hope you guys got a lot of good stuff out of it, a lot of good education and entertainment. Uh, out of Las Vegas. I wanted to show you guys how cool Las Vegas is. There's so much stuff to do. It's beyond just gaming. They literally fly in the greatest chefs from all around the world just to cook here in Vegas. People literally spend billions of dollars to build these mega casinos for people's entertainment. There's so much stuff to do. On a serious note, this video did Las Vegas no justice. There's so much more, but there's only so much time. I can only talk so fast and there's a limited amount of footage. Hey look, Four Seasons Hotel. That's what I'm talking about. With Las Vegas being born in 1911, me being born in 1982, it is been exciting to see Las Vegas pull a Michael Bay and transform the way it has. I can't wait to see what's going to happen to Las Vegas over the next 20 to 50 years from today. Rate, like, comment, subscribe, find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. For one dollar, you can get The Starting Line Island, one of my favorite songs of all time. And until the next episode of Superman, I'll talk to you guys soon. Unbelievable, almost forgot. Big shout outs to my boy, Mr. Genius Spiritu, and also the reason why we're actually on the bus is because of Miss Lani Misalucha. If you never heard of her, YouTuber, I'll leave her information in the description box below. Amazing singer, she has her own TV show out here in Las Vegas, so check it out. We were invited to be a part of her music video, and by the way, I love you guys, thanks, bye.